I'm having to film in the kitchen today because uh, for some reason the light in there is really playing up. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I've got to go and it keeps flickering. I've got to sort it out. I think the bulb might be going. Uh, just got back from town. We've just been to see um, Paranorman, which was brilliant. It was really, really funny. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I didn't get to go thrifting. It was cold and wet and rainy and we just decided that sitting in a coffee shop was a nicer idea so yeah <laughs> that's what we ended up doing I did get some really cool shots of Gypsy though I'll put those in at the end um, thank you Martin for taking those for me uh, I got some really cool bargains though I'm going to show you this is not a haul video I don't do haul videos uh, but I do want to show you a couple of things for the UK girls I got these these are from WH Smith's I'll show you what they look like. These are the set of brushes that I bought for um, watercolour. They are really, really good brushes and it, the set includes the following brush sizes, round 1 to 9, flat 3 eighths of an inch, half inch and 3 quarters of an inch. Um, they are really good brushes. They don't um, Malt, they don't do anything. And right now, if you go in the right in in a WH Smith that has um, paint and art stuff, they are on half price two ninety eight two yeah two ninety nine. They should be five ninety eight, and they're two ninety nine. Um, I bought a set of these this time last year, and they have they have really lasted really really well. I use them all the time when I'm at home. Um, I use my water brushes when I'm out, but I use these all the time. This big flat, flat brush is really, really good for gesso. Um, Darcy, this set's on its way to you um, because uh, I promised you a set last time. I said I'd pick your set up. and um, So they're on the way to you. And because they were half price, and I said I'd get a set for Darcy, I got a set for a giveaway. So, leave a comment below, or on my vlog, on my, sorry, on my blog, or on the vlog on YouTube down here, uh, telling me why you would like this lovely set of brushes. Don't go crazy with the sob stories, just tell me why you would like these brushes. Subscribe to my channel up there, and... Follow me on either Twitter or Facebook. I'll put both links below. Um, if you don't have either Twitter or Facebook, that's fine. Um, go and subscribe to my blog if you like uh, instead. That's okay. So, and share. I will announce the giveaway winner. I don't know, when I remember. There you go. Sometime next week. I'm kidding. Sometime next week when I remember. If I haven't done it by this time next week, what day is it? Thursday. If I haven't done it by next Thursday, somebody remind me and I will I will pick a winner. So yeah, you can win a 12, it's a 12 piece brush piece brush set. That's not easy to say. And I'm not even drunk. Um, they are very good quality. They are those um, golden hair brushes. They don't molt or anything, they're brilliant. Uh, and they are for watercolour. So if you're mixed media and you want a nice set of watercolour brushes that don't cost the earth, well, they won't cost you the earth, they're free. Um, if you want a nice set of watercolour brushes, they're not really suitable for acrylic. If you use acrylic, they get caught up in the barrel and it gets a bit messy. Um, but, you know, you've got some lovely brushes and they're really, really fine details. So there you go. Um, I also, if you go into Ryman's, they have these um, sets of four metallic Christmas tapes for 99p. Now these are normally 2.99. Yeah, 2.99 I think it says under there. I can't remove the piss sticker to see, but it's their Christmas special is on, uh, and it's um, I don't know if you can see it. It's like gold and silver circles. Can you see that? Gold and silver circles and then green and red kind of checky pattern. Kind of checky triangular pattern. So they're quite cute. 
uh, they're for obviously for wrapping presents and things. They come in their own little spools. Uh, and then there's not masses of them. I think they're like a metre each. Uh, but they're holographic and they're cool. And, you know, you can never have too many tapes. So if you like tapes, go and get some. The 25 pence each versus washi tape that's like, God, cost a fortune, doesn't it, washi tape? Even the piece of PVC tape is like two or three quid. Um, these 25 pence each, and they come with a little holder, so when you're done, you can pull it apart and put your washi tape on. I did that last year. Uh, they also had another set. Uh, I think the other set was blue and pink and black and white. Yeah, blue, pink, black and white. But the woman in front of me picked it up and it was the last one in the basket. I almost mugged her on the way out, out the door. But I didn't. Uh, I want to show you one other thing I got today. Um, I went into, I'll show you a video in a minute of the, um, the, it was the window display that caught my eye actually. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like an oldie, oldie worldy type shop window display. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And because of the shop window display, we stopped and looked in the window, and they sell Yankee candles. And I got the Yankee candle, Yankee candle, which is brew. Uh, should have been seven ninety nine. It was twenty five percent off. It's just a little one because the big, the big ones were gorgeous. They were in black glass uh, jars like this with white skeletons on the front, and they were beautiful. But they were like thirty odd pounds. $40, $50 for a candle is a bit ridiculous, but um, these are like 40 hours for, I think it was 5 99 it worked out. Yeah, it should have been £8 and it was actually £6. Um, 40 hours for £6, so that's not too bad. And it's patchouli. Oh, I love patchouli. So that's going in my bedroom to be ju burned judiciously in order to get rid of the swell of, smell of wet dog. Um, I got a hat. Um, I've talked to a couple of people about hats and crocheting a hat uh, and, and um, crochet zombie, uh, zombie, sweet pagan rose has been <laughs> telling me about crocheted hats and where to find information on them. Um, I really like this one. It was only, it's only a couple of quid in new look. Uh, I think it was 3 99 uh, but it's one of those acrylic ones so it feels really warm. Um, but because it's cable knit, it's got lots of like air in it, so it lets the air in, but it's also it lets the air in, but it's also nice and warm, which is what I need. I don't I don't keep wear a hat to keep warm necessarily. I wear a hat to stop my hair blowing all over the place. Um and since I'm already here showing you what I've got and it's right in front of me, this is I got this on the sale rack. This was should have been £20 and I got it for half price. Isn't that cool? I love owls. And uh, I just thought that was really, really cool. So, yeah. Might, might as well show you that as well. I'm already stood here. Oh, and I got, in also in Ryman's, I picked up, this was only £7, uh, a blackboard. It's, how big is it? Uh, looks like it might be a two. So let's see how big it is. You'd think I'd know this, being a, an artist and using different sizes of boards and stuff. But let me see. Divide it in half, divide it in half again. Yeah, that looks about A4. So I'd say a little bit smaller than A2, kind of poster size. Um, I'm a big writer of lists and reminders and things and I just thought, you know, I can spend four quid on a, a thing of chalk paint and make my own or for the extra two quid I can have one that's ready made. I thought, well, I might as well just pick up one that's ready made. It's just as cheap. The blackboard paint is quite expensive so, oh, I just smacked myself in the nose with it. Ow, that hurt. So yeah, that's going up on my studio wall um, next to my desk so I can write reminders in pretty colours and draw silly pictures on it. Um, it's better than wasting lots of paper. Uh, that's it. That's everything we got today. Uh, I've got a little bit of video to show you what I did last night. 
I cleared quite a lot last night. I got a lot done last night. Uh, I'm going to have some tea and take the puppies out and then I'm going to go upstairs and try and do a little bit more today. But again, you know, it was three o'clock in the morning when I finished last night, which is normal for me, but I don't want to be putting vlogs up at that time of night. So um, I'm going to have some tea and I'm going to go and finish today's and I'll probably show you that tomorrow. Uh, but it is being done today. It's like yesterday's was done last night. So, yes. So, giveaway for a set of brushes. Uh, I will be having other giveaways later in the month because I found a couple of things for art journalists, artists type people. Um, so, do make sure you subscribe and comment. Leave a comment. Actually, you don't need to tell me why you want the brushes. Just leave a comment or a question. That'll do. Leave a comment or a question, that's fine. And subscribe to Facebook or Twitter, YouTube, up there. And, uh, yeah, so video to come. A couple of little clips from earlier today. Uh, some pictures of Gypsy, which I finally got. And a little clip from last night of what I did for the studio for Whimsical Words. Bye! Yeah, I've got to take. This is just so cool. I've never seen this shop before. What is it? The candle shop. Oh, they do Yankee candles. Oh my god. Gonna have to go in there. And. Oh my god! That is so cool. I've still got some. Yes, I'm vlogging in the middle of town. I don't care. We are in vlog! Vlogland! I look like such a tourist right now. <laughs> I live here and I look like a tourist. So cool. Lots and lots and lots of jazz switches. This is a really cool display by the college that I used to work at. Art, art and design. In the cinema. Some really nice work here. It's a bit scary. Alright, this is going on day 11's vlog, uh, but I actually did this on day 10. As predicted, it's uh, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, which is fairly normal for me, but I uh, just wanted to show you these two sets of shelves. I've actually got some semblance of order going on. It may not look like it, but there is. Um, that shelf hasn't changed. That is still all my tall notebooks and that big box of... Actually, it's fairly organised stuff. I know what is in there. It's all big stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. I've put all my specialist papers there and all my small notebooks that were down here uh, are over there now as well. That box here, which has been a the bane of my life since I got it. I keep putting stuff in it and forgetting what's in there. I have emptied out a bag of stuff that is uh, to do with the business. So my business cards, my magnets, my freebies, my postcards, um, some bags that I've got for giveaways, some Christmas cards, all that kind of stuff is all in there. Um, I've got my... Let me come a bit closer. Maddie, stop! I've got another box of bits there, that's for when I do craft fairs, that's got all my signs and things in it. My box of ATCs are my tall thing of... Maddie! My tall thing of tapes, which includes my packing tapes. See, it goes with the business. Ha <laughs> ha! Maddie, stop! This little minx is being a noisy minx, aren't you? I've left all my... <laughs> I've left all my rubber stamps down there. They need organising, but they're there. I've put all my mediums, gessos, g glues, bits and pieces and stuff in there. Crackle mediums, texture paste, water bottles, all that kind of thing. I've got my magazines and a box of bits that I need to sort out because some of it is acrylic paint that I don't really know what to do with. And a box of shiny stuff that I use a lot. And then everything that I use pretty much every day is on this shelf. 
So my video cases. Natty! <laughs> She's playing with a plastic bottle, sorry. My old video cases that I emptied and I've got my Pentel oil pastels, my Dewent ink tents, little pots of acrylic paint, uh, my Neocolor 2s, all my Sakura markers, all that kind of stuff are all in those boxes. I've got my Whispers markers, all my paint, watercolour paints and gouache and palettes and things like that. My Prismacolor pencils, they're in a box um, but I've left them in the bag because it's useful having them in the bag. Otherwise I tend to take them all out and then they roll off the table and they end up on the floor. I've got a box of shiny things, glittery stuff. And then all of this, this is things like my pastels, my oil pastels, my pencil tin, uh, my Caran d'Ache metal, um, metallic crayons, uh, my chalks, that kind of stuff. So basically things I use all the time is on that shelf. Anything that didn't fit there has moved over here to be organised next time. And look over there. A big space. Because an awful lot of what I took out of there has actually gone there. So this is all boxes. Just ignore all this. Um, this is actually all the boxes I've emptied now. Plus a couple of bags. Um... A lot of this is stuff that either needs to go in other rooms or it's sewing stuff. And I've also got a few tools and things that need to be hung up when I get my rack on the wall. Uh, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow or Friday. So I've actually made quite a big dent. I was only expecting to get this sorted out. Uh, actually I was only expecting to get that sorted out. Oh, and I've put, I've got a big box over there which has got all my work to be put up for sale. Um, and I also found in my business bag I found my t-shirt with my Rumini's Realm thing on it uh, which I might put up on the wall actually because um, it's an old t-shirt and he's redesigning uh, or I might actually wear it because it actually does fit me <laughs> so yeah I've just got to sort out what's on the desk that box is empty I've just got to sort the bag uh, that's all just a box of card and new work, uh, finished work. And then this stuff needs sorting behind here. Um, and then that bit. This box is stuff that needs to be sorted out. It's mostly stuff I chucked out of those drawers. I've got my collage boxes and things. This is all scrap paper, scrapbook paper. And these are all journals and finished work. So... Yeah, that just needs reorganising. It's it's not a major job. So, made a good dent in it last night. And, um, onwards and upwards. I almost forgot. <laughs> Another little bit of mini organisation. I took out all the bits and pieces, which was mostly pens and stamps, from this tin. Because I keep putting stuff in that tin and forgetting what's in it. Because I can't see it. Uh, so I put all my tapes in there. Uh, except the tapes that I use a lot of, which is obviously my masking tapes and things. Um, this is all full of my washi tapes and all that kind of thing. So it's a lovely little treasure trove to delve through when I want some tape. And I've put all my pro markers in this recipe box now. Uh, except for the ones that I keep out. These ones are my specialist ones. So I've got my metallic markers and I've got the, the skin tone markers that I use all the time. And I also need to put my neon markers up there. My aqua markers are still in a Ziploc bag uh, and they stay in my journaling bag most of the time because I use them a lot. I also found my Romany's Realm mug which again is an old version uh, and I'll probably keep that on my desk. I'll probably use it for something, maybe put some, put my brushes in it or something. <laughs> 